Hello, my name is Sergei, and uh, today we are going to play with magnets, which I got from the broken hard drive, very strong one, and some sample of metals, copper, iron, and aluminum. Uh, how they interact with the magnet? You see, when I bring aluminum in, it doesn't stick, it falls off, but when I bring it strongly close and away, I feel some interaction, but it's difficult to understand whether it's repulsion or attraction. The same thing can be seen with copper. Nothing when I just try to feel whether they're attracted or not, but some interaction when I bring it close and a little bit away. Uh, pretty different story with iron, obviously. You have to be careful because interaction is very strong and pinch your fingers. And I have to apply a lot of force to get it out. It's not so easy, I have to slide it off the magnet. Okay, now it's out. Okay, let's see whether we can elucidate this a little bit with the help of scales and pendulum. Iron is ferromagnetic, strongly magnetic. And aluminium, as we know from reference book, is paramagnetic. This strong magnet helps us to really notice this effect. And we just suspend a piece of aluminium over it. You see, magnet became lighter by 60-70 milligrams. It means it's attracted to the piece of metal statically hanging above. Paramagnetism is too weak to be noticed really by playing with a piece of metal and the magnet. You need the help of these scales. But now, what about dynamic interaction? The same piece of aluminium brought, supposed to attract it, but what it's doing? It's neither attraction nor repulsion. At least repulsion for sure. When I try to bring a piece of metal close, the magnet goes away. The same thing works with copper, though copper is diamagnetic, slightly repelling, but the effect is so slight that I even couldn't detect it with a scale. But you see exactly the same effect is happening here. Then what is going on? If I try to bring a piece of metal close to the magnet, magnetic fields of the magnet which are passing through the metal would increase. This would increase what we call magnetic flux through metal through many circuits which we can draw through it. Currents, eddy currents, are going to be born. These currents would have such a direction that magnetic field created by the currents, they work like electromagnets, would be opposed to the change of magnetic field which brought them around. So, for example, if I bring the piece of metal in, magnetic field generated would be just opposing to magnetic field of the magnet, repelling it. If I try to take it away, this just would be opposite thing. Direction of the current would be reversed, and as if electromagnet would try to attract the magnet with it. So, what we have, we have observed, when I try to bring the piece of metal, magnet is repelled. When I try to take it away, magnet is attracted. Because of eddy currents and their generated magnetic fields. Electromagnetic effects. Magnetism of currents born in piece of metal. Repelling and attracting in turn the magnet. There is another effect which eddy currents can have, damping oscillations. You see what happens? Oscillations stopped. What if you try to give energy to the aluminum piece again? It's gone. As if it hit something. But there is nothing between magnet and the metal. And the metal is not really strongly attracted to it. No, it's the same old interaction between eddy currents and the magnet. 
from energy point of view, kinetic energy goes into electric energy of the current and then dissipates as heat. And from dynamic point of view, magnetic force of eddy currents is working against magnetic lines of the magnet below. It's no slow motion, it's real. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye.